Take the steering wheel in your life with my book, The Driver's Seat. Climb out of life's back seat and step into your God-given purpose. This isn't just a book. It's a wake-up call to action. As the author, I guide you through realizing your true potential and living with purpose. Break free from life's back seat and no seat belts and seize control of your own destiny. Your purpose isn't just a dream. It's your reality waiting to be lived. So discover this book right now at whatsgood.work. Click on the link that says buy my books. Take charge and transform your own journey today. Welcome to What's Good, a podcast where each episode is a journey into finding and feeding our good wolf. It's the best version of ourselves. I'm Jay Floyd, certified life coach and the mind behind the What's Good brand. I'm here to guide you through a deep dive into a single powerful topic every episode. Together, we'll explore how even the most seemingly mundane moments are still opportunities to nourish our positive nature. From uncovering life's hidden lessons to fortifying our inner strengths, What's Good is dedicated to helping you recognize and cultivate the goodness that exists in and around us. So join me on this journey as we seek out and savor the good in every aspect of our lives. Come on, let's go. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of What's Good, the podcast. This week, uh, we're going to be talking about something really good. Uh, First, let me introduce myself. My name is Jay Floyd. I'm also known as Coach Big Bro. I am a licensed uh, life coach. Uh, Strengths-based coach is where I focus. Um, And we're going to talk about some of that. Like, what does it mean to have strength and what do you need that strength for? Today's episode is called What's good about adversity? You know, a lot of times these things will sound a little oxymoronic, but I think it's important to dig through every aspect of life, find the good in it, redefine what good is. Good does not always put a smile on our face in the moment. It's not always about comfort. It's not always about uh, ease, Um, but it is about what's for our good, what's for the betterment of us and our purpose. So we're going to explore this multifaceted nature of adversity. Uh, You know, one of the things about culture nowadays, especially like in hip hop culture, you know, a lot of people will say I got haters, you know, people are hating on me. I'm I'm not a big fan of that word hate being thrown around like that because hate is something specific. A lot of times what we're really talking about is adversity, things that are not going our way they're actually going against us they're making things harder sometimes the people that are bringing adversity to us our adversaries they are not our enemies they are not our haters they don't hate us sometimes they might have negative feelings for us they might be upset but in the grand scheme of things we get sent these people and these circumstances to make us better to make us better Right. I'm going to I'm going to talk about something that um, just to refer to my life. Right. Like even today um, at my job, man, I was facing a situation I'm not liking. Right. Like, you know, things change and situations change and you get faced with new challenges. And sometimes it's like, ugh, man. And I had one of those today. Right. I love I like to speak out of transparency because I feel like this is how we all can grow. So today I was feeling like that, like, yikes. And, you know, right in those moments, you know, for me, it is a, it's like a mix of emotions, right? Like, yeah, there's stress, negativity. I might feel down. I might feel like, man, what? But underneath, there's also this excitement. And it's like bubbling energy under there because I know that I'm a counter puncher. I know I respond well to adversity. I'm tested. I'm battle tested, right? I've been in championship fights and I know how my left hook responds, right? So in those moments, yeah, even though I do feel bad, I feel stressed. I feel like, you know what? I'm not really enjoying this moment. There's also some underlying excitement. So let's talk about that, man. Like I want to talk about how adversity really 
it's both. It can be two things at once, right? So yeah, it in the moment, it's a barrier. It can be a barrier for your growth in a certain direction. Usually the direction you are already on, the trajectory you are already on or the trajectory you would prefer. Adversity comes and all of a sudden it's a blocker. It's not letting you go there. Not easy, not easily, right? But it's also a catalyst for growth in a different direction. The struggle comes in our ability to accept that new direction, right? Resilience, being a counterpuncher, staying in the fight. This is what I want to impress upon you. I want to emphasize today. Let me give you another piece of historical context. It's something I refer to a lot. From uh, 2016 to 2020, we had Donald Trump as the president of the United States. There's a lot of people, liberals and others, people on the liberal side of the fence and others. It's not happy with that. Not happy with that, right? Like, man, this is a horrible person. He's doing horrible things. He's he's doing things you're not supposed to do. He's pushing boundaries that we thought existed. But wait a minute. All of a sudden, they don't really exist. We're going to talk about that in a future episode. But actually, we'll do it in our next episode. We'll talk about those barriers. But man, this this person is in the, in the White House, in the, the seat of the most powerful person in the world. And... He's doing a lot of things we don't like. He's speaking about a lot of people we don't like. He's speaking about me and groups that I represent, that I find myself representative of. So, yeah, man, we all felt it. We all felt it. But I want to say something else. Think back to those four years. Man, we had uh, so many movements of uh, women speaking up, of minorities speaking up, everybody having a voice and saying, you know what, I'm not waiting around for this president to represent me because I don't think he will. So I'm about to represent myself and I'm standing up and I'm making it in that time, right? Right smack dab in the pandemic, you had movements, people going to organizations and, and corporations and saying, you know what, no more. You're going to have to say that you are with us. You're going to have to make some tangible changes. And you saw a lot of companies bow to that. You saw a lot of organizations bow to that. You saw corporations and powers that be start to bow to that and, and, and hear the voices that were raised up and standing up and being united. And now you fast forward, those four years are over, that imminent person that was seen as a threat is not there and a lot of that energy to stand up for our own self for our voices those voices are diminished and and again this is not a political podcast but this is a real podcast so i'm talking about the reality regardless of what side of the aisle or politics you sit on this is a real issue right of adversity, when a lot of people in this nation felt adversity, they stood up. When the immediate adversity was gone, we see a dwindling of the voices. So I just want to share a little bit of insight, right, about how personal challenges can lead to significant growth. And if you anticipate evolving into a better version of yourself, if in those moments, instead of just, yeah, you, you should honor your feelings. You should, uh, we should always honor positive and negative, right? That's why I'm not a proponent of toxic or permanent positivity. Life is always half and half. You should honor that you're feeling negative about the moment, but don't live in that. You can have a seat there, but don't live in it. Once you have a seat there, give your body the ability to feel its emotions and honor that. Take a st- the next step you can take is to say, why did that happen to me? And what is it trying to either teach me or push me towards? Because a lot of times, man, life is just pushing us in a direction we don't want to go. And it's making us stronger as we kick and push and scream and fight. We're really just trying to struggle against the inevitable. 
And if we really just look and say, why am I supposed to go this way? Why is this challenge in front of me? What am I supposed to learn from it? How can I grow some muscles around it? Right? Adversity can be a motivator for action. Because immediately you'll stand up and be like, man, I didn't like that. So the next morning, guess what? You get up earlier. You, you, get, you hop in the shower. You get ready. You don't skip anything. You are sharp. Because you're like, you know what? I got to go up against this adversity. I'm going to be at my best. You're going to be at your best. You're going to throw on your best outfit. You're going to get up early. You're going to prepare. And guess what? When you come in prepared and sharp and ready, you've moved in that new direction already. You're already in a new direction. You've already sharpened yourself. You've already changed. You're already not the person who initially faced the adversity. You're already not. Just getting up for the fight changes you. So I just want to remind everybody, when, no, when you're in those moments, and I know a lot of us, we feel them. Like I said, I felt it today. But once I gave my body that moment to feel it and honor that feeling, the next step was, okay, now what? Let me get sharp because I don't like this feeling. Let me get sharp. Let me get in the gym. Let me train. Tomorrow I'm better. I'm earlier. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I already changed. I already changed. It's a lot like the speech that I give about pressure. We'll talk about that maybe right after we talk about pushing on boundaries. So I just want to conclude with a reflection on the importance of facing adversity head on. The great Jim Harbaugh said, as I already spoken in one of my earlier podcasts, it is never the time to run from the moment. Why? Because the moment teaches us lessons. It gives us strength. It is knocking on our door with a package. We got to unbox that package. See what's in it. See what's in it. All right? This episode is really about giving you a view of adversity. Recognizing, yeah, it's a challenge, but it's also going we're going to highlight the unique opportunities that it presents in our personal and societal growth. So thank you all again for joining me right here on What's Good as we dig into each and every aspect of life and try to find what's good. Join me again, y'all. Like I said, next episode, we're probably going to hit boundaries. And then we're going to get into pressure. Thanks, y'all. Check y'all later. Ready to revolutionize your content creation? Discover Deep Brain AI, the cutting edge solution in AI video synthesis. Create lifelike AI videos with ease, ideal for presentations, educational content, or just boosting your digital marketing. Your AI avatar waits to deliver messages with natural expressions and natural voices. It'll be just like hearing and seeing you and me. Experience the future of communication with Deep Brain AI. Discover more right now at what'sgood.work and click on our link that says visit our sponsor.